This is the cannula that I use for PPS suction device. This is a 25 centimeter cannula with multiple holes at the distal 12 centimeters in length. These holes are 3 to 4 millimeters in diameter and this can be easily inserted into the postpartum uterus like this and a suction can be connected here. 400 to 600 millimeters mercury negative pressure can be produced and the bleeding will be stopped immediately. This is very useful to prevent and treat PPX and it's absolute success. I have been uh, studying this instrument for the last 2-3 years with absolute success. This is life saving, quite inexpensive. Kindly see this video. This is a postpartum uterus with huge bleeding inside the uterine cavity. This is the PPH suction cannula that I have invented. This cannula can be inserted into the postpartum uterine cavity like this and then connect it to a suction machine to make a negative pressure of 700 millimeters of mercury. The pressure is maintained for 20 to 20 minutes. All the blood collected in the uterine cavity will be sucked out first like this and then the wall of the uterine cav cavity will get collapsed onto the surface of the cannula and into the small holes of the cannula, thereby sucking in all the small arterioles and venules that are bleeding and the bleeding is stopped by the pressure of suction and 10 to 20 minutes is allowed so that clotting occurs in the small arterioles and venules and the bleeding will be stopped permanently. Because the inner wall of the uterine cavity is sucked onto the cannula under pressure, the uterus cannot expand and go atonic again. This is a very simple, safe and inexpensive technique to prevent and treat PPH with almost 100% success. Even ANMs can perform this with a short training. So this will have a very good impact on reducing the maternal mortality due to postpartum hemorrhage world over.